I would like, uh, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. This isn't the Junior Chamber of Commerce, Brad. They're probably foreigners with ways different than our own. They may do some more folk dancing. This is Greg here at the uh, Hollywood Celebrity Show Edition 2011. And right now I have Barry Boswick with me. How you doing, Barry? Good. How are you, Greg Gilla? Oh, oh, pretty good. Good to, good to meet you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh, I, I love your voice. Oh, thank you, boy. And have you, have you uh, cultivated that voice? Is that your real Actually, voice? That is, yep, that is real. Well, no, my real voice is like, no, I'm just no, kidding. Yeah, right. I'm just kidding. Your real voice is like this too. <laughs> Actually, I, I've gotten so many compliments from so many celebrities on my voice. I should just make a demo reel of everybody should. that said, said that how much they love my voice. Well, that's why I do this horror show because uh -huh. you know it's it's kind of catapults my my career into getting into TV and I want to do radio too. So, uh -huh. Good. but sometimes I talk like this, you know, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah. bit more Transylvanian. So, like like speaking of Transylvanian, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, ah. which we actually went to see at midnight yesterday, and you were there, right at the yes, Hollywood we Hollywood at Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. It was great. We did. <laughs> Six different screenings, I think. It's we uh, we two two times, and uh, they are uh, they were a great uh, place to be. I mean, they the kids were young, enthusiastic, and uh, they keep the dream alive. You oh. know, so we're on our 36th anniversary. anniversary. You know, and it uh, and I'm I'm every year it just keeps floating along. You know, it slides. It's great. It's the the kids are. They've just created a whole community for themselves. Of, there's something lovely and innocent, and uh, it's got that cult classic to it. Just like, and yeah. the, the people are throwing stuff. Like yesterday, they're throwing toast and toilet oh, yeah. paper, and oh yeah, <laughs> just toilet like, paper, toast, and then and, and uh, spray guns, you know, water guns oh, and everything, yeah. and so, and all the commentary too, you know. Uh, through the whole movie, even though we didn't have the the recreation players there, there was people in the audience that know it word for word, like word for word, and they have uh, they have a whole regime that they do. Yes, it's amazing. amazing. Well, right. you want to promote your website or so, or where people can contact you? Uh, well, I have a new movie coming out called Some Guy Who Kills People, mm -hmm. and it's a, <clears throat> sort of a horror with heart kind of uh, uh, movie. And so keep your eye out for that. And um, uh, one called FDR American Badass. You can uh, YouTube both of those. They have uh, trailers and um, all kinds of little bits Good and pieces. Stuff on so. there. Oh, thanks a lot, Barry. Thank I you. appreciate this so much. My pleasure. <laughs> My pleasure. You're lucky. He's lucky. I'm lucky. We're all lucky. <laughs> Right now, I have Patricia Quinn. Hi, Patricia. How Hi. Are you? <laughs> Hello. I'm fine, thanks. It's great to see you. We seen you, you last night at the uh, Hollywood Boulevard yeah. for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, that show. was stunning. I mean, we had three f three cinemas going at once. Wasn't that? Uh, crazy? You call them theaters here. We call them cinemas in England. Cinemas. That's yes, right. darling. It's, it sounds more, you know, regal. I think cinemas. Oh, really? You know? Good. At yeah. least I think so. Well, theater. the theater's the theater, and the cinema's <laughs> the cinema. But anyway. <laughs> As Bernard Shaw says, the only thing that separates us from the Americans is the English language. That's true. Okay, darling. <laughs> Thank you. I love the accent. Oh, my Thank God. You, you sound so great. Wow. Now, how did you get that part on uh, Rocky Horror, if you don't mind me asking? I auditioned. Auditioned. Now, that was Little Nell said she slept <laughs> with the director, but I didn't do that. I just auditioned. <laughs> well, that's the best way to do it. That way yeah. is your talent. Yeah. Quite. That's what they said. <laughs> But that makeup is, you know, it's like iconic now. You see people dressed like that, men and women, <laughs> which is funny. Oh, really? I've seen a few men, yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, male magentas, you mean? Male magentas, yeah. Oh, yeah, I met mine first one at the Waverley <laughs> in um, Greenwich Village. Oh, he was a beautiful boy. <laughs> <laughs> they got the hair and I, down and the, the, the white face, and it's just like... Yeah, and I have quite a few male nation McKinleys these days okay. from shock treatment. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In fact, one of my favorite is a guy called Wally. I think he was at the show last night. Oh He's brilliant as me. I mean, I, I, 
every gesture he does, I think, oh my God, because it is, it's me. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like, astonishing. It's got to be so surreal, though, to see someone else playing you as that other character. Especially a man. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> Being so feminine. Yeah, well, I guess. And he's, he's a big guy. Is he? Oh, it's pretty, well, pretty he's huge. Big, yeah. Pretty huge, like yeah. big this way or big this way. Uh, not, <laughs> not so this way, but a real man then. A real man, like pecs and everything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what's fun is that like this movie has been lasting now since the 70s, and it's still going strong. It's like the, you see midnight screenings everywhere. I, I don't know. Every city's got them, every town. Yeah, I know. Well, the thing is, uh, Rocky Horror will go on forever because it's a, like an initiation period that still ha happens with young people. So yep. I have um, fans, octogenarians to three-year-olds. Oh, see. And um, it is extraordinary. Well, it is extraordinary. Richard O'Brien got the message right, which is don't dream it, be it. And um, I mean, I just was thinking being here that, you know, I'm here signing and things, but um, my the, the film is still alive and well. The stage show is all over Europe and England as we speak. Wow. So it never stops. Never stops. Yeah. And I went back to the stage show 21 years later it was 21st years, oh 1995. Wow. Yeah, 25. and everyone else was like 20 years of age, and I was still 30. See? Yeah. Not 28? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's great, though. I know we've seen a stage show just like that, too. That, I think that was my first induction into Rocky Horror before I actually seen the original movie. So yeah. it, it's so interactive, even no matter which one you do, they keep throwing stuff at you, toast and... Yes, I know. Well, it's extraordinary because when I first did the stage show, nobody talked to us. No, Why would no, they? No, no, because <laughs> the film taught people to do that. Oh, I see. Yeah. So when we first began in the theatre, of course you didn't talk to us. Yeah. You don't talk to plays, do you? No. no. Well, not Or musicals? To. No. <laughs> and then, so then the cult began with the um, film of shouting back. In fact, there's a wonderful moment where they said to me, Miss Quinn, did you make the film so slow so we could talk to it? <laughs> I said, of course we did. <laughs> exactly, because that's the reason why it became like it did, so you could talk to it. <laughs> and I know it gets a little raunchy. I know last night was a little bit, but you know, but I think they made I up. Told they were, I told <laughs> they were told to keep it down because I was there. See, they should have, I know. you got to be respectful, you know, very respectful. Um. <laughs> No, have you have any projects you like to promote while you're here right now? A website? Well, I do have a website, and um, yeah. Well, I'm I'm in discussion about a film at the moment. It's one of those boring things. I hate actors who say I can't talk about it, yeah. but I can't, because it's very hard to get into your it's to film in Los Angeles, and I have to go through um, this boring thing of getting a visa to work here. Oh, jeez. And uh, they want so much stuff. So it's wonderful. Like, I had to get so many letters saying that um, I'm the best actress in the world and America needs me. See? <laughs> I'm sure it does. It does. It yeah. does. You better start writing those letters. This guy right there. You see, he's, he's writing now. Who? Right. This guy right there. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Keep writing them. Keep writing them. No, so I, I've got them. I've got the letters. Right. I think they're letting me in. But I, that's why I can't talk about the film, because I can't uh, sign the contract till I get the... Until you get the letters. Yeah. <laughs> so it's now, it's patriciaquinn.com, is that your site? I is think it, it is, is it? I don't know. If it is, I'll check it and I'll... Okay, <laughs> I'll, do I'll, that. I'll put it right here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot, Patricia. All right, bless this you. This was wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> and All we'll right. send it back to you here at Patricia Quinn at the Hollywood Celebrity Show. This is Greg. Bye for now. Toodle pip. It's astounding, time is fleeting, madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control.
just a jump to the left. Dreamy, oh fantasy free. 